Hello, and welcome to a video presentation on dividing decimals by integers. Here's what you'll learn. How to divide decimals by integers. Dividing decimals by integers is a simple three-step process. Step 1. Set up your division problem. Step 2. Ignore the decimal and any signs on the numbers and divide as you normally would. And Step 3. Move the decimal point straight up into your answer and add the appropriate sign. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's divide 18.9 by 9. Start by writing down the problem. 18.9 divided by 9. And let's divide. 9 doesn't go into 1, so let's expand that by one digit. 9 into 18, how many times? 2 times. 9 times 2 is 18, so we end up with a remainder of 0. Let's pull down that last 9. And how many times does 9 go into 9? 1 time. 9 times 1 is 9, with another remainder of 0, and we're done dividing. Now, move the decimal straight up into the answer, just like this. Perfect. And let's figure out the sign on our answer. Since both numbers are positive, our answer is a positive 2.1. Now, let's divide negative 60.96 by negative 12. Again, I'm going to start by writing down the problem, but without the negative signs. We'll figure out the sign on our answer at the end. So let's write down 60.96 divided by 12. And let's divide. 12 doesn't divide into 6, so let's expand that by a digit. How many times does 12 divide into 60? 5 times. 12 times 5 is 60. That leaves us with a remainder of 0. Now let's bring down the next digit, the 9. How many times does 12 divide into 9? Well, it doesn't, but we'll need a 0 in our answer as a placeholder above that 9. Now let's bring down the last digit, 6. How many times does 12 divide into 96? 8 times. 12 times 8 is exactly 96. We end up with another remainder of 0, and we're done dividing. Now, move the decimal straight up into our answer, just like we did last time, and figure out the sign on your answer. Since both numbers are negative, our answer is going to be positive 5.08. Now, let's divide and round our answer to the nearest hundredth. Let's take negative 1.2 and divide it by 7. Again, start by writing down the problem without the negative sign. We'll figure out the sign on our answer at the end. So we have 1.2 divided by 7. Now, let's go ahead and divide. 7 doesn't go into 1, but we need a 0 placeholder above the 1 because the decimal point will be right after that. How many times now does 7 go into 12? 1 time. 7 times 1 is 7. And 12 minus 7 gives us a remainder of 5. Now, we need to keep dividing because we want to go to the nearest hundredth. So we can't stop right now. Let's add a 0 after the 2. Bring that down to our remainder of 5 and make that a 50. How many times does 7 go into 50? 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49, and we end up with a remainder of 1. Now, we can't stop. Since we're supposed to round to the nearest hundredth, we have to divide to the thousandths, or the third decimal place. So we need to add one more zero, just like that. Bring that zero down to our remainder of one to make it a ten, and do one more division problem. How many times does seven go into ten? One time. And we don't need to bother to figure out a remainder here because the 1 in the thousandths place won't round the 7 up to an 8. So we're going to leave the 7 as is, and we can discard the last 1 that we divided into. Now move the decimal straight up into your answer, and figure out the sign on the answer. 
Since one number is negative and the other is positive, our answer will be a negative 0 0.17. Now let's wrap this up with a word problem. Students in Mr. Gerard's fifth period class wanted to have a pizza party. The pizzas cost $50.65 and soft drinks cost $6.39. They decided to split the cost evenly among all 23 students. So how much does each student owe? Well, first we need to determine the total cost of the pizza party. That means we have to add the cost of the pizza and the soft drinks together. Now, they're decimal numbers, so don't forget we're going to line up the decimals to add. 50.65 plus 6.39. And when you add, that gives you 57.04. Now, if you're unsure about how to add decimals, check out my video titled Adding and Subtracting Decimals. Now, since the cost is being shared evenly among 23 students, we know $57.04 will be divided by 23. So, let's set up that division problem. 57.04 divided by 23. And let's go ahead and divide. 23 doesn't divide into 5, so let's expand that by a digit. How many times does 23 go into 57? 2 times. 23 times 2 is 46. That leaves us with a remainder of 11. Let's bring down the 0 into our remainder and make 11 110. How many times does 23 go into 110? 4 times. And 23 times 4 is 92. 110 minus 92 gives us a remainder of 18. And we bring down the last 4. 18 becomes 184. And how many times does 23 go into 184? 8 times. 23 times 8, in fact, is exactly 184. So we end up with a remainder of 0. Now we move the decimal up into our answer, just like that, and we get each student owes $2.48 for the pizza party. Congratulations! You've learned how to divide decimals by integers.